In this video we're going to have a look at the greenhouse effect. One of the key things to note with the greenhouse effect is it is actually a completely natural process. And in this process the Earth's atmosphere traps and retains heat just like a greenhouse and this is an essential process for life on Earth to remain living on Earth. So we're going to start off uh, just by describing what's going on in this picture. We're going to draw here the greenhouse effect. This isn't something that you actually have to be able to draw out. It's just something that you need to uh, be able to explain step by step. So here, this purple bit here is just the Earth. And then obviously this dotted green line here is then the atmosphere surrounding the Earth. And then up here, we have got the sun. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale. So to begin with, we have got incoming solar radiation from the sun coming towards the earth. Now those of you that do geography will probably know it as insulation. So that is just short for incoming solar radiation. And the key thing about solar radiation is that it is short wave radiation. Now there's a few things that happen. It doesn't just come straight from the sun and then go to the earth and that is it. Firstly, when it reaches the atmosphere here, some of it will be reflected. And some of it will be absorbed by the atmosphere. And actually in terms of the percentage absorbed by the atmosphere here, that is about 25 to 30% that is coming from the sun already absorbed here by the atmosphere. Now here when this incoming solar radiation reaches the earth, some of it again will be reflected. And then some of it will be absorbed by the earth. So that's what happens with the solar radiation, the short wave radiation. The earth also emits its own radiation. So we're going to draw this in blue. So this is then earth's radiation. Now the difference between this and the solar radiation is that Earth's radiation is long wave, whereas obviously solar radiation is short wave. Now in terms of this Earth's radiation, again it's not just so simple that it gets emitted from the Earth and goes straight out into uh, the universe. When it gets to the atmosphere here again, it will be absorbed. Now again, there is a particular percentage that you need to know for this, and this is between 70 and 85% of the Earth's radiation that is absorbed. This absorption is done by what are called greenhouse gases. And you quite often see these called GHGs, so obviously greenhouse gas. Now in terms of these greenhouse gases, there are four main greenhouse gases that you need to know about. So the first one is carbon dioxide. We also have water vapour. Then we have methane and we have nitrous oxide. Now actually many of these are produced by human activity, which is why there is now a very, very strong link between humans and global warming. 